close call. See that nail right in there? I put my shoes on and poke myself. If that was a couple more inches to the left, that would have been in my foot. Oh boy. It looks like you got it, Doc. Looks like you got it. A clean pull. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. 80 degrees here in Arizona and uh, Anthony's got some testing to do today, so uh, I'll be in town most of the day. I hit up the usual spots, some thrift shops, uh, look at some antique stores, just to try to stay busy for a little bit, see if I can find some profits to make some money. Um, other than that, in today's video, I'll show you guys what I sold on eBay, Amazon, and Etsy. So, let's see what we do today. All right, so I've got about 30 minutes to kill here before the thrift shops open, so uh, let's do some sightseeing. I found a picture online of this Bosch's grocery store from the 1950s. This is what it looked like in Casa Grande back then. And here's the same shot from 2017 of now a food city. Pretty cool here in downtown Casa Grande. Here's another picture from the 1950s of Arizona Savings and Loan building here in Casa Grande. Gotta love that uh, mid-century look that uh, this photo has here. Here's the shot of it in 2017 of the old Arizona Loan Building. Still got the original facade and the rocks. Pretty, pretty darn cool for being uh, seven years old. I've showed you guys this uh, SS Blinky thrift store that's in Casa Grande in previous videos. Here's an old photo I picked up when it used to be a gas station slash car dealership. Pretty darn cool here and uh, a lot of history to this uh, building, that's for sure. Here it is now, 2017, a shot of it. We're gonna walk in here and see what we can pick up today. All right, so my previous video, somebody said, you shouldn't drink Starbucks. So I went on my way here to find a cafe. And it looks like we're at the uh, cafe and uh, let's see a little shop here. We'll check out the Big House Cafe. Let's go check it out. All right, went with an iced coffee. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's keep rolling. All right, we got a pretty cool mural here, the history of Casa Iran. Dedicated May 1st, 1998 from artist Rose Johnson. Let's take a little gander here. Pretty amazing. All types of stuff here. Sipping on some mojo, some coffee, or some whiskey. It's pretty cool. All these old towns. So these murals are really neat. Not cool, pretty cool. Cactus going there with the horse. Pretty cool. So I'm on top and bottom street in Casa Grande. Just an alleyway here. There's some history on it. Why Top and Bottom Street local legend has it that the street's name came from one or more car trucks operating in one or more saloons fronting on the street who were so dexterous in dealing out cards, but then where he could not tell whether they came from the top or the bottom of the deck. Card sharks were known to travel the railroad lines and ply their trade with unsuspecting greenhorns wherever they could find them, so the legend could well be true. Pretty cool. People doing some old stuff back here in the West. Pretty wild. Top and bottom street. Check out this old relic. When the bell rings, call the police or fire department. Viking Automatic Sprinkler Company. Check out this uh, old telephone booth. Calling ahead, the Southern Pacific Railroad telephone booth is typical of the type used from World War I into the 1940s. Look at that. Very neat. Check out this old church, all made out of stone, called Heritage Hall. Pretty remarkable. Oh, 
right, let's go check out what they have at the Salvation Army today. Leaving empty-handed from there, there was nothing that I could flip in there. That the router looked good, but it was missing the power cords and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's typically sell for about 50 to 60 used on Amazon with a rank of 20. But uh, nothing we could pull out of the old cell today. All right, pretty slim picking here today. I'm done thrifting in Casa Grande, 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 Grande. So uh, I'm gonna head home, guys. I'm gonna pick up some orders, and I'll show you guys what I picked up today. off on the side of the road here check out that old wagon the barrels on it that's pretty cool looks like they have some sales here a swap meet maybe I'll have to find I'll out when this what some parts to it oh, yeah, there's parts down there tripod Weird. tripod that looks like ours pretty cool but this place is kind of sketchy so we're gonna leave <laughs> on the batting building here yeah, you can see right through. Anthony was saying you can see through the boards. You totally can. This place has been defunct for a while. Yeah, get the tops open there. Look at that gate. The Vatos Locos here tagged this stuff, man. Not sure what that used to be. Probably a watering hole. Pretty cool. All right, not sure where we're at here, but this whole area, it's like a small little town, just abandoned. left of it. I'm going to turn around here before I blow a tire. Look at it. Everything's abandoned. Andy's a little freaked out because there's uh, there's like a, look at this tower. What is this place? There's some random guy just sitting there. Yeah, some random guy sitting here at the end of the road. Scary. We're like the only people over here and this guy just gave us this luck. But what is this? This is pretty crazy over here. Man, it's just abandoned. Windows blown out, the whole farm. Pretty cool. It's just, it's just like a disaster zone. <laughs> Craziness. All right, we found something pretty amazing. Look at how breathtaking this is. It's not as cool on camera, maybe, but it's awesome. Look at this. Here. There's nothing around here. We're just on some road. Look at the view. Caves in there. Not sure if we're on the Indian Reservation or not. Uh, didn't see any, any signs, but who knows? I'm literally in the middle of nowhere here. When I say we're in the middle of nowhere, we are literally in the middle of nowhere, guys. Look at this. You can't even see a car. It's kind of eerie. I dig it, though. Yep, we are in, looks like an Indian reservation here. Why don't so you we're stop gonna, with your bull crap? To get out of here. You see it? I'm not sure if I can even be over here, to be honest with you. All right, let's dive into what I sold on eBay. Sold this Hickey Freeman gray pinstripe wool men's sport coat blazer jacket. Size 38R. Picked this up for a dollar at the thrift shop. Had it on eBay for 18 months. Finally sold for $26.14. Shipped. Sold this men's Brooks Brothers 346 navy camel hair two button sport coat blazer jacket size 44L. And this sold for $42.26 plus 14 shipping for a total of $56.26 and took about 55 days to sell on eBay. Paid $2 for this at the thrift shop. So these uh, Orbit Model 566191 outlet single dial hose faucet timer. Uh, individual bought two of them. These came out of the Home Depot liquidation lot and sold these two for $40 shipped. 
I paid ten dollars for this recently at a pawn shop. This is a Sega Game Gear 2110 video game system with five games. Uh, the game's tested work. I do have one of these units that I test uh, for, but this particular unit I could not get it to work. Uh, tried everything. I mean, it takes batteries, power supply to turn on and then turn right off, which is kind of a common problem with these. I didn't bother to try to fix it, so I just sold it as is. Uh, I'll describe that in the description. Sold this for $35 shipped. Here we have a men's Justin Roper 3404 brown leather cowboy western round toe boots size 11.5D. This came out of the recent storage unit we just picked up last week. These sold for $42.40 plus $14 shipping for a total of $56.40. Literally sold within two days of me listing them on eBay. Picked this up for a dollar at the thrift store. It's a Yanni Tribute. 1998 concert tour t-shirt size extra large this sat on ebay for four months and ended up selling for sixteen dollars and four cents shipped picked this up at the thrift shop for one dollar it's a paramore 2009 summer concert tour t-shirt it's a women's t-shirt here size large and uh, this one ended up selling for sixteen dollars shipped Paid $1 for these. These are Nike 6.0 Swish Yellow Board Shorts Swim Trunks Exercise Gym Beach Shorts, size small. And these took a while to sell on eBay. It took five months to sell, but we ended up selling for $13.05 shipped. And the last item I sold on eBay came out of a, a recent storage unit that uh, I had all those cassette tapes I showed you guys. This is House Party 1 and 2, a lot of two audio cassette tapes from the 90s. Uh, rap, Kid and Play soundtrack, and this sold for $10.43 shipped. Sold this paperback book here on Amazon. This came out of that book lot that I have that I'm slowly getting rid of these books. And this one sold for $5.43 shipped. This came out of that DVD disc only haul that I got at Goodwill. This is Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine from 2001, DVD disc only. This sold for $5.99 shipped. On to some Etsy, sold this 1995 San Francisco 49ers Super Bowl vintage t-shirt. It's got the old uh, little player there, just taking a little bit of a wee-wee. <laughs> uh, paid a dollar for this at the thrift shop. Had it for about four or five months. Ended up selling for $21 plus $4 ship, shipping for $25 total out the door. Not sure where I got this hat at. I believe I got it at a garage sale, big box full of old uh, hats. Anyway, it's a 1980s Forest Packaging Company, Lady Forest Farms Company Worker Mesh Trucker Vintage Snapback Hat. Pretty good shape. This sold for $8 plus $4 shipping for a total of $12 shipped. Picked this up at a garage sale for a quarter. It's a vintage Rumford Wholesome Baking Powder Slotted Kitchen Baking Spoon. And this sold on Etsy for $8 plus $4 shipping for a total of $12 shipped. And the last item I sold today on Etsy is this Dean Martin You Can't Love Them All vinyl LP record in pretty good shape. This came out of that record lot that I purchased. Again, still going through those, and I've got more records to add to that collection as well. This one sold for $4 plus $4 shipping for a total of $8 shipped. All right, let me show you guys what I picked up. I spent a total of $21. Got some vinyl here, it's got some Dr. John. National Lampoons. Looks like we got uh, Pete Townsend and Ronnie Lane. This is Eddie Arnold. Sheila E., remember her? Uh, Nina Peoples, remember her too? Put a couple hits. Elton John. And there was two, these were variant versions of this. Uh, Elton John, Madman, Across the Waters. One. There's two. Move these back up here. Grab this, just an open box of uh, Friends Lego set here. It's all the complete there. I only paid a quarter for it. Picked up these Doc Martin boots. They have some wear to them. I uh, need to clean those up. And um, they're the steel toe ones, so those bring you some good money. Um, but overall, some wear and tear. Um, soles on these are in fair shape. And the last item is this Minolta Maxim 35mm camera. It's got a couple lenses that came with it here. And then we also have, it looks like, a uh, ultraviolet uh, sun pack 52 millimeter. So we'll see if, uh, I just swung on this one for, I think this, they wanted 10. Um, didn't really even look it up, just figured it was pretty nice. So we'll see what we can get for that. 
So I appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please hit the thumbs up button. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. Vlog over. Then we come across the domes of Casa Grande. The domes of Casa Grande. Ooh.